Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! In those jabby battles, a bunch of people told me that you're actually able to make an impact on them by using Flurry to blow around the jabbies, and it'll apparently throw them off and make it easier for the punies to knock them out. Well, anyway, uh, I've got four star pieces to collect in this tree, so let's get on them. Starting with the prison room, uh, I'm gonna take a look around here. I'm just want to see if there's something around here that's new. Well, anyway, go in here. Star piece! Oh, yeah! Um, the reason why I'm looking around up here is because I'm pretty sure, or at least I thought, there is a little jabby around the the tree that gives you a mushroom. Unless it's, it's later on in the game and you just can't get it now, but I thought it was in one of these upper rooms, but yeah, I think there is a little jabby. In fact, I think it's Jabble that gives you a uh, mushroom if you come back here after the chapter, but I, I just don't remember when it was. Anyway, more star pieces. Oh yeah, as long as I'm passing through this room, the bubble room, if you stand in the bubbles for a little bit, yeah, that happens to Mario. <laughs> I didn't know that offhand, which is why I ran through that, so thanks for telling me. All right, this room, I almost forgot. Ah, there it is. Oh, whoop, come on, flip it. Flip it. You gotta be just off the side of it. Come on. Is it because my partner's on it? Yep. <laughs> so there's another star piece. Back over here, because I didn't really have a good chance to show off the shop in its entirety. Yeah, we got mushrooms, honey syrup, and I can finally buy another one of these to show it off a little bit later. Um, the mystery, you've already seen that. You've already seen the ice storm. HP drain, You, I guess I'll show that one. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's put some stuff away. <laughs> Store. Let's see what I can put away. I should actually put away this. This is just way too good this early in the game, and I'd like to save that for later on. Um. Get some mushroom. Hmm. Still gotta show off the rest of that stuff, so okay, I'll just leave that as is. Okay. Well. Woohoo! I got a mushroom! Wait, is it in my inventory right now? Oops. Uh, oh, it is. Hmm. Should probably put that away as well. <laughs> okay, starting from here... No, stop it. Drop down here. <laughs> now go over here. There's a star piece behind this pipe. No. 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 <sighs> well, as long as I'm in a battle... I suppose I can sh try and show off something that I also heard from something else, someone else, and that is apparently if you just flick left, it'll always work. So, and I'm uh, I'm gonna test that right here just for the heck of it. Like I'm gonna have a bunch of attacks with Coops and see if I can get that to work consistently. Like uh, before, I I, I thought. Long, long ago, I tried that when I first played through the game, and I sometimes came up too early. Like, in my timing, and what happened was I, I sort of missed that, and... Yeah, I'm gonna try and do it really quick this time. No, it still worked! Hmm. So I guess it does work every time if you just flick it really, really quickly to the left and let go of it. So maybe I just failed it when I was a kid or something like that when I first played... Well, more like a teen when I first played through the game. Oh, Alright, let's just finish this battle. Ah! I mean, why let the experience points go to waste, right? <laughs> mm, woo! Oh, a little bit late on my timing. Mm. Oh, come on, what's wrong with me? There we go. It's nice to have that badge to uh, decrease damage upon successful uh, action commands, because as you see, the t two attack point damage piranha plants. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. The two attack point piranha plans do not do anything. And I forgot the flick. Ah, that's fine, whatever. Yay! Alright, now, in the other room... Uh, let's just coming up here. I'd like to get some coinages. There we go. Uh, over here... Well, it's actually, it's actually not this room, but the room directly below it. In fact, I can do this to speed things along. <laughs> Behind this pipe is the fourth and final star piece of the area. All right, let's get out of here. 
For clarification, I just realized I said fourth and final star piece of the area, but there's actually six in here. I don't know why I said fourth and final. I guess I, what I meant was that it was the fourth and final one that I had to get left in this place, I guess you could say. And I am out of here. Uh, actually, uh, maybe the reason why the Jabby isn't inside is because it's still out here. So, yeah, they haven't gone back inside yet. Anyway, I'm expecting mail any time now. Uh, well, let's see if it pops up along the way here. Oh, and people are also wondering what happens if you fall down a hole. That's it. It's just like when you fall in water. One HP gets drained from you and you get plopped back at the start of the obstacle. Alright, now I'm gonna go back over to Madame Fleury's house. Oh, 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 there's the mail. <laughs> Alright, let's check the mail. I'm pretty sure you know who it's from. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me, but please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I under uncover anything, okay? Okay. You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Pretty nice, huh, Mario? Indeedly do. Alright, back to Madame Fury's house. Fury. Flurry's house. Hmm, and I had no issue going into it that time. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Here we are. Now, if I recall, it is... No, not there. Dang it. I was hoping I would get it, my, get it on my first try. There's a star piece somewhere in here. Maybe it's not in this room. Maybe it's in the other room. Ah! Because I thought it was by a sofa. Couch, whatever you want to call it. Well, there's a super appeal partner badge. That's nice to have. That's not exactly why I came back here. I mean, it is sort of. Oh, there it is. There it is. Woo! Star piece! And let's go back over to Rogueport, shall we? Oh, as long as I'm in a battle and I've got a bunch of items, how about I do a little HP drain? Yeah, that's what it does. It steals HP from a single enemy and then gives it back to you. Now, let's do the Mr. Mini. It shrinks it down, so its attack power is dropped. I don't think it drops the defense points. I guess we're going to see in uh, just a second here. Nope. Completely and utterly useless. <laughs> um, although, I could uh, boost the partner attack and attack that. Uh, well, actually, no, never, never mind. I could actually do it to Mario. I think Mario would be a little bit more useful. Yeah, it makes him a lot bigger. And... Ah, oh, I'm getting, luck getting lucky. The, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, I want that. I want that item. So throw it to me. Thank you, great fan. And now, since I got plus two attack points... Woo! <laughs> it looks so awkward when you're, when you're big like that. Alright, now back to Rogueport. Alright, on my way back, I was also told something else here. If you hug this block over here, apparently... What? Maybe it's it's not... Oh, there is a star piece here. Oh, uh, well, I thought you could only get that after destroying the block, but looking at the uh, perspective here, I guess it just blocks the vision for that star piece, so I guess that's why I remembered myself always getting that star piece later on in the game. On your way back, you may, might have noticed this right here. If you think you can do something in this room at the moment, you're crazy! <laughs> shoot, 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 shoot! I forgot something back here, so don't go any further. <laughs> if you... Go back up through here. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot this, because this is... Uh, it's kind of obvious that there would be something in a mostly blank room. Stop being on top of the panel, partner. There we go. There's a star piece there. And on my way back, I noticed something else. Well, I should say not notice something else. Remember, it's something else. Go back in here. Uh, where is it? Is it there? Oh, it's there. 
Oh shoot, partner's on it. Dang it. Stop it. <laughs> and I suppose I can get this on the way back as well. It is the Happy Heart Partner Badge. It does the same thing as the one for Mario, except it's for your partner. Jesus, I keep wanting to go back to Rogueport to get more star pieces there, but I forgot that I'm right in the area to be able to go where I need to go next, which is back to the Thousand Year Door because I have another star, and yeah. Anyway, go down over here. There is something, I think, here? Yes, right here. Yes! Woo! Yep, a star piece there. Do not forget about it. All right, let's get on this pedestal. And... Oh, my little Mario. It's Crystal Star time. Let's see where the next location lies. Ooh, so fancy. Mm -mm. Oh, the next chapter that's coming up is one of my favorites in the game. It is just sensational. This is actually a place you need access to on the uh, uh, west side of Rogueport, which means we gotta buy that contact lens for Zesty. Way over there! But where might that be? Well, you'll see later. <laughs> The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Hmm. Oh, mercy me. The next crystal star has made an entrance. My, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? Hmm, hmm indeed. Oh, they're warping me back to frankly. I wanted to get star pieces on my way back up here. Curses! Well... That's fine, I suppose. That means that beneath it's this town, the thousand years of old ruins remains intact. Hmm. And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Do they feel the thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not... Um, hmm, that's not what? I, I don't know! <laughs> Calm down, frankly. Jeez. Oh, frankly, please. I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed around the time this, the town was destroyed, but the problem is no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky, and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming we will just... Assuming we'll just make a... Well, you know the saying. <laughs> oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning area there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but... Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world rager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know. But I guess we don't have much choice. What on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sounds of this Don Pianta fellow. I can't wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a Syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Hmm, anything else to say? Once you get 
Um, that's pretty much the same thing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go back over to the. S Wait a second. Uh, yep, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Gimme! Yes! Alright, now I'm gonna go back over to the sewers and get some star pieces, if you don't mind. Right off the bat, in the middle of everything, yep, there is a star piece. This is right up near the pipe that uh, Rogueport leads to. Alright, we are back in Rogueport to get the star pieces that are left lying around this place. Starting with... well actually, come to think of it, I think there's only two. Oh, there's Luigi with another story. Uh, I should probably do that in this part as well, but anyway, yep, there's a star piece right over here. And if you go in back, uh, behind Zesty's house, right over here is it? I thought it was... Oh, yeah, it's here. Yeah, another star piece. So, what do you have to say, Mr. Blabbermouth? Mm, oh, it's the exact same thing. I thought you would have had something different. Like, sometimes the people in the game have something new to say at different points in the game. Just so I would check that for the fun of it, because he's a pretty uh, entertaining guy. Hey, you're new. You smell it? Something smells a little like perfume. Yes, indeed they do. You got someone in your party who has a lot of perfume, or is that you? I, I, I think I know who, but maybe... Maybe I'll just say it's me. x knots terrorizing Boggly Woods have withdrawn. Just what was their motive? Who knows? Maybe the person on the back of the board will know at the graffiti corner. Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him. I told that, the animal lover. <laughs> um, I just want to think for a minute to see if there's anything else around here. Back here at the port, I just remembered. Um, um, oh, there it is. Woohoo! You know what I need to do? I think I need to stay uh, stay at the inn for nights because my HP is sort of kind of low. Uh, I will stay and no, nah, I won't use the coupon now because there's more expensive inns later. <laughs> ah, so comfy. Oh, oh, no, I'm up. Okay, okay, I'm up. Yes, I did, and I am all healed up. The reason why I want to do that is because it's about time I tackle a little hooligan over at this side of Rogueport known as Gus. And I'm gonna actually remember to switch over to Goombella this time. And here he is. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. If you want to pass through here, no, I can take you on. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Mini boss, known as Gus, right here. So, swap, tattle. And this is why I didn't battle him earlier on, because he is relatively tough for a, a uh, early game battle character, though it is entirely possible to beat him as soon as you meet him. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max, max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. <laughs> So yeah, don't jump when his spear is pointed up. And take him on and take him out. Let's see if I can... Oh, lucky! I was going to say, let's see if I can do some uh, super guards against him because his attacks are relatively predictable. Um, I can't really do anything with Goombella at this moment in time, so maybe I'll just keep hammering away with Mario. See, the, the issue with his spear is that, you know, if you jump on his head, you know, it, it'll just spear you on the way down. Let's appeal to the audience, because defend is pretty much useless at this point in the game. Oh, I missed the B button. Well, well I was a little bit late, I mean. Uh, yeah, using the appeal over defend is just far, far better when you want to skip a turn at this point, because you actually do something productive. Then again, I wasn't really doing anything productive either way. Um, if you let your HP get down low enough, uh, Gus will actually recommend that you leave the battle, so he's kind of, sort of an okay guy in that he doesn't really want to kill anyone, he just seems to want to scare people away. 
Alright, let's... Yeah! Oh! And now, let's close in for the finisher. I'm gonna get him under six, and then probably do a uh, Earth Tremor just to speed things along. Shouldn't I? I probably should be tapping left on that, but oh well. Ha! Ah. Oh, wait, what? Was that Luigi with something good? Yes! Okay, thank you, Luigi. It's kind of hard to tell with the button in the way of... <laughs> Uh, the, what, what are you was holding there? Um, it looked like he had a flower, and I was correct about that. So, wait, what am I doing? Earth Tremor! There we go! <laughs> I'm pretty decent with Earth, Earth Tremor, which is why I can rely on it like this. Now watch me fail and leave him with one HP or so. <laughs> if I don't use this, I would have to use special moves to uh, get his HP down to zero. And yeah, I don't think you really want to bother with that. <laughs> you gotta spend time at the inn or use items, and yeah. Woo! So yeah, I think you can see why I avoided Gus until now, because he is a pretty, I don't want to say impressive mini-boss, but he's a pretty difficult mini-boss in the early game, because he'll most likely outlast you. Crud, you dumb video game heroes, always pull this stuff, it's ridiculous! You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? And he runs. <laughs> um, you can continuously pay him the toll to get back here over and over and over again, but this just saves you money, so let's just pay the I mean, so let's just defeat him. Hey, this area is a turf of Ishnail and a robo band of thieves. The boss is usually hiding out in the back alley that few people can spot. So I've been thinking, and uh, I think I want to meet the robo boss just once. Actually, maybe it's Robo. I'm gonna think, but thing is, I have no idea where the thieves' hideout is located. None. Rumor has it that a secret pass. There's a secret passageway around here, but where could someone fit? Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I just realized that this part is going on for quite a while, so I think I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.